What if your favorite game changed the rules? Where did you come from? Oh man, you're never gonna... I was trying to get this new game software, when all of a sudden... But how could you be playing a game in your world and then all of a sudden end up in ours? It just doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I know, but the... A mystery disc! In this world, it's a mystery disc and may hold the phoenix. Moo loses again. Moo? Moo makes goodies into baddies to conquer the world. Why don't you come with us, big fella? You're invited to take a journey into a world of monsters. The human boy and his friends are searching for the phoenix. Magic. I will stop them up personally. And mayhem. It might be in our best interest to deter them. You'll need more than magic to beat us. You'll see about that. So join Genki. We're on a mission here and you're not going to stop us. Holly. Oh no, they found us. Swayzo. Ugh, I don't like where this conversation is going! Tiger. If being on the team is how I get moved, then I am. Golem. My name is Golem. Hair. This is it! It's been nice knowing you all! And Mochi. Cherry Blossom Blizzard Cherry! How far do you think you'll get? Get ready to play a different kind of game, because this game is real. Monsters rule! Monster Rancher, now available on home video and DVD.
just resting my eyes. Hey, Kitty, come on, get up! All right, Mimi, I'm getting up. See, I'm up. You go down to breakfast. I'll be down in a minute. You always do this. You won't get up and Mama won't let us eat till you come down so our breakfast ends up cold. Well, I've had it. Mama, Kitty won't get up again. Can we just go ahead and eat breakfast without her? I'm sure Kitty will be down any minute. And besides, in this house, we wait until the whole family is together before we eat. It's not fair. By the time she gets up, our breakfast will be cold. Don't worry. I think I have just the medicine Kitty needs to make her into an early riser. Really? What kind of medicine? Ah, oh, morning. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I just couldn't seem to wake myself up. Oh. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Mama says she has some medicine that will make you get up early in the morning. But what if I don't want to take any medicine? I bet it tastes terrible. <laughs> that won't be a problem. Here. Hey, these are seeds. Morning glory seeds, to be exact. If you plant them and take good care of them, they'll give you beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, yes but... but... These flowers only bloom in the early morning, so you'll have to get up on time if you want to see them. And that's the medicine. A fun reason to want to get up early. <laughs> that's funny, Mama, the way Kitty likes to sleep. I don't think pretty flowers are going to help. I don't think she can be an early riser. I can, too, be an early riser. I could do anything if I put my mind to it. That's the spirit, Kitty. Now, why don't the two of you go outside and plant your seeds and make sure they get plenty of water? That's it. Not too deep. So now we wait until tomorrow morning, right? Not quite. Give it water every day like this. Then in a few days, leaves will start popping out. Pretty soon, the leaves will grow bigger and the stems will grow into vines. Then not too long after that, buds will sprout and eventually open up into beautiful morning flowers. But you'll have to wake up extra early to see them. You don't have to worry about us, Mom. Right. Pretty soon the leaves will grow bigger and the stems will grow into vines. Then not too long after that, buds will sprout and eventually open up into beautiful morning flowers. this racket. Look at the leaves. They did it. They finally started growing. Really? Well, well, Let me see. Uh, congratulations, see. girls. Wow, look at them. Aren't you glad you got up early? Yep. Here you go, little flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Drink up, little <laughs> plants, and grow real fast. Now you two should know better than to be sitting out here in the rain. You need to come inside. Don't worry, the rain is good for the plants, you'll see. Once the rain is over, I'll show you how to make them really grow strong. Now you take the stick and put it in right next to the plant. It'll give the vine something to hold on to while it grows all the flowers. Oh, let me put one in. Me too, Mom. One at a time. Yes, the buds are turning into blossoms. It won't be long now. I can't wait. When's it going to happen? I don't want to miss it. 
by the looks of them, I'd say they'd probably blossom tomorrow morning. Wow, tomorrow morning we're going to have the most beautiful garden in the world and I'm going to put flowers in our room and on the table and I might even put one in my yellow ribbon. I just want to make sure I'm up bright and early tomorrow. After all this waiting, I don't want to take any chances on missing the big moment. Wow, they're beautiful! Congratulations, <laughs> dear, they're lovely! Oh, wonderful! Have you ever seen such pretty flowers in your life? Well, they're certainly the prettiest ones I've ever seen. I'm very proud of the both of you. They're so very pretty. I wish they could last all year long. <laughs> huh? What do you mean, Mama? Why won't the flowers last? We watered them real good. I'm afraid these flowers don't last long. After a few weeks, they just turn back to seed. That's okay. We'll just gather the seeds and grow lots of flowers. That's right. And then we can gather the seeds from those morning glories and grow a whole yard full of flowers. When can we start? We can't really plant again for quite a while, I'm afraid. Morning glories only bloom in the springtime. But that means we have to wait a whole year. Kitty, Mimi, time to get up. Breakfast is on the stove, and I'm making your favorite. You don't want it to get cold. <sighs> <sighs> Kitty? Kitty? It's time to get up and eat breakfast. Come on! Yeah, I'm up. You go ahead. I'll be down in a minute. Uh... I can't believe it! After all the stuff with the flowers, she's back to her old self again. What is it she dreams about that makes her want to stay asleep all the time? Now it's time for Paradise Fun and Games. This one's called Nutty Numbers. All right, Kitty, we're ready to figure out the puzzle. And don't make it an easy one this time. All right, then, here goes. What has 12 buttons with 10 numbers and two symbols? Almost everyone has one at home, and they use it nearly every day. What do you think it is? Uh, maybe it's a typewriter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know, I bet it's a calculator. Is that right? Not quite, but I'll give you another hint. The buttons make musical sounds whenever you push them. Also, this thing comes in lots of different shapes and colors. Do you know what it is yet? I think I need one more hint. What about all of you watching at home? Can you guess what it is? Yeah, we could use the help. All right, here's the last hint. Even though it comes in all shapes and colors, it's always used for the same thing. You can use it both to listen and to speak. And when you use it, part of it rests on your ear, while another part stays near your mouth. Whatever it is, it must be pretty funny looking. Hmm. I got it. I know the answer. Me too. How about you guys? Let's tell them. It's, it's a, a telephone. telephone. <laughs> You're yeah. right. It's a telephone. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Time for another Kitty's Fun and Games. This one is called The Competition. Hello, everybody! We're gonna see who has the coolest video monster. This one's mine. It's the Blue Marauder. Yeah, well, my creation is even cooler than that. He's the guy with the eyes. I call him the Eye Monster. Boy, he's funny looking. Yeah, well, let's see who's the strongest. Ready, go! Come on, Come try harder. You can do it. That's it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Looks like my guy's the champion. Not quite. Uh oh. I've got another one who's unbeatable. He's big. He's yellow. He's big and yellow. <laughs> Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ready, go! Hey! Wait! He's not supposed to lose! Oh. I'm the winner! That's what you think! Introducing the Red Ravager! He's too small. He'll never win. Huh. Well, don't ever count out the little guy. Okay, let's get this over with. Hey, wait! How did he spin like that? No! Stop! And the winner is the Red Ravager! Well, that's all for now. Fun like that, boy. A storybook adventure. Hey, I'm bored. Really? I'm not. This is a great book. I wish I was reading a great book. What's it about? It's about a woman who lives in the woods. 
So what is it you're doing? Practicing math, because Mama says if I practice, I'll get really good at it. If you weren't practicing your math, what would you be doing instead? I don't know, swimming in the lake, or running through the forest, or maybe even playing the piano for my friends, or having an adventure. <laughs> is that all? What I wish is that I could climb on a magic balloon like in the picture so I could fly off into one of those great stories you like to read. Well, if we use a little imagination, maybe we can. I'm game if you are. Way up in the blue sky, past the clouds, away we'll fly, finding an adventure. We won't know where until we're there. We're flying now. Having fun, say hello to everyone. Picture pretty rainbows. All right, here we go. I want you to come on along with me right now. Because you'll never know what we'll see. Yeah, come on, let's play. We'll take the day. Come on, let's fly away. Our imagination is the key. Because you never know what you're gonna see. <laughs> We'll take the day, come on, let's fly away! <laughs> Where are we? I don't know, but it sure is dark. I don't think I like this very much. Me neither. Wait, I just thought of something. This must be part of our imagination. Hey, that's right, I forgot. But if it's our imagination, then we can change it into whatever we want. You got it. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I want to try it out first. Take us to the center of town. Wow, that's amazing. We're right in the center of town. And right in the middle of the street. Wow, I don't want to be here anymore. Take us to a big river. When I said river, I meant next to it, not right smack in the middle. I think this is really fun. Yeah? Well, what if something happens to us? Nothing's going to happen. Whoa! Can we go? Wait, I'll save you. Just give me a moment. Help! We don't have a minute. We're going over. Oh! Take us to Mimi's storybook. Oh! Where are we now? Wherever we are, we're in a whole lot better place than where we came from. Oh, well, at least we can start having fun. Ooh. This Ooh. doesn't seem like much fun to me. I thought you said this was a great storybook. I only just started reading it today. I guess I haven't gotten this far into the story. It doesn't matter. We've got to get ourselves out of this snowstorm. Maybe we can find some help there. Hello? Is anybody there? We're lost and need help. Hello? Just a minute. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Mama always says never talk to strangers. It'll be okay, remember? We're in your storybook. We can wish ourselves away if there's trouble. Goodness, what have we here? What are you darlings doing out on a terrible day like this? My sister and I were out in the forest when the snow started and now we're lost and so we were wondering if we could come in and warm up. Well, of course you can come in. That fire feels so warm. Um, nom, 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 nom. And this food is really good. Yeah, I can't get enough. Eat up, ladies. There's plenty more where that came from. Thank, Thank you very much. much. This is great. great. I have a warm bed ready for you. Good night, children. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You're just in time for breakfast. Amazing. All my favorites. Yum. And after breakfast, you can play together in the living room by the fire. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. This looks great. Oh, mm -hmm. it is. You children are so delightful, I want you to call me Granny. Granny? Sure we will, why not? Yeah! Granny's such a kind and sweet lady. I wonder what Mama would think of her. Yeah! Not everyone is as nice as they appear to be. Really? Beware of those who only pretend to be nice and really mean you harm. Mama would want us to leave and come home. 
Granny's been nothing but kind to us. We can't just leave her alone in the middle of winter. We don't have to. We're in my storybook, remember? We can use wishes. Let's make it spring. All right. I wish it was springtime and all the flowers were in blue. Bye, Granny. We're going out to pick some berries. Be careful, darlings. We will. <laughs> I see some more. <laughs> I think I ate more berries than I put in the basket. <laughs> I've had more fun today than I've had in a really long time. <laughs> Me too, but we probably should be getting home now. Uh-oh. What's the matter? We have to say goodbye to Granny. I hope she doesn't get too upset. <laughs> I'm so good. We're gonna go pick berries, Granny. Those children are such fools. I'll have them wrapped around my little finger by tonight. But tomorrow they'll be my prisoners, brainwashed to do my bidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to wait until tomorrow. Where's that sister of yours? <laughs> Mimi, run! Come back here! Run away, Mimi! Run away! What's wrong with you? Granny's not really a granny. She's a witch and she's not nice. She's mean and she's chasing me. I'm gonna catch us if we don't start running now. What? Run all you want. You'll never escape from me. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. I have some treats for you. Kitty, what are we gonna do? She's standing on us. Run as fast as you can. We need a hero to rescue us. My hero. He can save us from the wind. I hope so. Leave these children or face my wrath. Those are mighty tough words for a statue. <laughs> oh no, now what do we do? This is a storybook, so we definitely need a hero to save us, but this time we need to wish for the right kind of hero. All right. There's no such thing as a hero who can defeat me. <laughs> oh, Kitty, I'm really scared. Don't worry, I'll think of something. <gasps> a giant snowman! <laughs> so what's it going to do? Melt on me? <laughs> hey, make her chill out. Chill out? Kitty, kitty, who will invite her friends along? They can hear her play a 
song, it's Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. If you don't know where she lives, you might have missed her and her papa and her mama. And there's Minnie, she's my sister. They're an itty bitty pretty kitty family. But even though they're kitties, they're like you and me. Rainy days turn sunny, funny, wait and see. Always like to play pretend or to make a brand new friend. It's Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. Looks for rainbows in the sky and the birds that fly so high. It's Kitty. Fun and games. This one's called Guess the Dots. All you've got to do is figure out what shape it will make if you connect the dots. Do you see it yet? I'll turn it to make it easier for you. Are you ready to guess? Let's see if you're right. <laughs> it's a star. This star looks kind of dull, don't you think? Why don't we fill in all the color? There. That's a lot better. Did you know that if you connect stars, they form shapes in the sky? Like these stars. If you connect them, they form what's called a constellation. Can you guess what this looks like? Wow, it's a swan. How cool. There are a lot of constellations in the sky. Ask your teacher about them. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you later for even more Paradise Fun and Games. Bye. Kitty's Clean Cuisine. Wait till you see what I'm making. <laughs> wow, this is work. It seems like it. What you making anyway? Well, it's gonna... I mean, I was... I guess I forgot. Oh! After you, Mimi. Now that was a lot of fun. Yep, but look. I'm completely filthy. Just look at me. My clothes, my hands. I am a big mud ball. Getting dirty when you're playing in the mud is half the fun. Now all this fun has made me hungry. Hey, Mom! Dinner ready yet? I'm starving! It's almost ready, dear. What is it? It really smells good. It's chicken curry. Kitty, what in goodness name happened? You look as though you've been rolling around in a big muddy bog. <laughs> Mimi and I were making mud castles in the backyard. Well, you better go get washed up for dinner. It's nearly ready. Mimi, dinner's ready! Tell Mimi to get washed up too. <laughs> there, all clean. Mimi, hurry up! Dinner's ready and it's chicken curry! <laughs> Well, it's about time. Come on. Let's get going. Mama made my favorite food in the whole wide world, and I just can't wait to eat it. But, Kitty, aren't you going to wash all that crud off of you? You look really dirty. No. I thought I'd do that after dinner. You're not really going down without washing, are you? Since I'm in a hurry to eat and I have to wash after dinner anyway, I thought I'd save time and do it all at once. That's disgusting. You might have germs or other stuff on your hands. It's not healthy to not wash up. Yeah, but I'm hungry. And that'll take too much time. Mom's gonna get mad if you don't wash up. Hmm. How do you know? I don't care what Mimi says. I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat now. Oh boy, am I ever ready for some chicken curry! Uh, you are? Yeah! <laughs> I don't think so. Kitty, didn't I tell you to wash up and get ready for dinner a few minutes ago? Um, yes ma'am? And you didn't do it? Um, no ma'am. And I suppose you have some explanation for why you've come to dinner wearing half the yard? Yeah, I do. I was trying to use my time wisely. That's why you didn't wash up? Well, I have to wash after dinner anyway, so I thought I'd do it all at once. Nope, sorry. What does she mean by that, exactly? She means you go wash up. Yeah, I kind of thought so. I think that maybe I should go wash up now. Excuse me, please. Change your clothes after dinner. Okay. But 
what's the big deal, Mom? What do you mean, big deal? Washing up. Why is it so important? Because your hands pick up all kinds of germs and bacteria through the day. Are germs and bacteria bad things? Yes, they are. They can cause all sorts of things like head colds and stomach flu. And that stuff's all over my hands? That's right. And if you don't wash up, those germs could get on your food and make you sick. Mama wants you to wash up because she cares about you. I never realized how important it was to wash your hands. I'm washing before every meal from now on. That's great. Now let's have some of that chicken curry. It smells wonderful. Mmm, that smells good. There you go, just like you like it. Looks wonderful. Thank you, dear. This one's for you, Mimi. Here you go, darling. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Kitty, I know it's your favorite, so I made plenty. So I hope you're good and hungry. I am. In fact, I'm so hungry, I want a whole plate full of chicken curry piled real high. Kitty, you know you can't eat that much. Here, why don't you start out with this? No, Mama, no. I'm really, really, really hungry. I don't want a little plate like Mimi. I want a big plate of curry, bigger than Papa's. I promise I'll eat every bit of it, please. I suppose if you're that hungry. Don't worry. There won't be a crumb left when I'm done. Here you go. Thanks. Now let's dig in. That's great. Yeah. Uh huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is good, dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the best you've ever made. Oh, sweet. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. I think it's great, too. I'm glad you all like it. Mm -hmm. I could eat this every day. Mm -hmm. Me, too. The way Kitty is gobbling up that food, I guess she really was hungry. Must have been all that playing in the mud. Go, Kitty. Um, no, no. I think I can't eat another bite. Well, silly, why don't you stop eating then? You don't have to finish it all, you know. But I have to finish. I promised, Mama. I'm just so full. But you'll get sick, dear. You shouldn't keep eating after you're full. It's very unhealthy. Yeah, well, a promise is a promise. I'll finish it all. Mm -hmm. Kitty, I think you've more than satisfied your promise and should consider it fulfilled. What do you mean by that? Exactly. It means you're off the hook and don't have to eat anymore. Good. I may never eat again. You know, Kitty, sometimes when someone's really hungry, they think they're able to eat a lot more food than they really can. Your grandma used to say, don't let your eyes get bigger than your stomach, which meant that you shouldn't take too much food just in case you can't finish. Understand? Next time, just take a small portion and then ask for seconds if you're still hungry. That way you don't end up wasting any food if you get full. Besides, your mom knows how much you usually eat, so you can trust she'll always give you enough to keep you healthy. Okay. You see, I knew you wouldn't be able to eat nearly as much food as you asked for, but I had to let you learn that lesson for yourself. I did, and I'm never going to forget it. Me too. Can I have seconds, please? Of course you can. Here you are, darling. Thank you, Mama. I wish I'd started with less. So you could leave room for seconds? No. I'm just so full now, I've got no room for dessert. No dessert for you, Kitty? That's a first. I did make some tasty apple tarts this morning and put them out to cool, but they just up and disappeared. So I'm afraid there's just no dessert mm -hmm. tonight. Kitty and I saw the tarts on the windowsill this afternoon before we went out to play in the mud. We thought they were for us to snack on, so we ate them. We didn't know they were for dessert. Besides, it was Kitty's idea, and she ate three of them. <laughs> Guess you got dessert after all. <laughs> <laughs> For more Paradise Fun and Games. Okay, time to play Guess the Shape. Why don't you guess along with us at home? That's strange. Uh, hey, that looks like a giant earthworm. I think it's a tail. Now it looks like some kind of machine. And I think it's eating something. Now what could that be? Hey, I know, it's a dinosaur! That's not it! 
Try again! Wow, that's pretty noisy! I bet it's an instrument! Then again, I could be wrong! Hey, that fan is sucking up the dust! Now I'm really confused! Okay, it's a machine that sucks up dust and makes a lot of noise! Hey, would you look at that? Maybe it's a car! No, cars don't suck up dust when they run! Hey, I think I've got it! Have you figured it out? Time to guess! Here comes the answer! It's a vacuum cleaner! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> now for more Paradise Fun Games. This one's called Animals, Animals. There are a lot of animals hiding in the cube. Can you guess which one of them will come out? Hey, look at that. This animal must have a lot of fur. Can you guess what it is yet? Hey, that looks like some sort of tail, but I still don't know what it is. With legs like that, he should be able to run fast and jump real high. We're almost there. Have you figured out what it is yet? <laughs> That's right! It's none other than the king of the jungle himself. It's the lion. Bye! A day out with Dad. Strange. I could have sworn I saw some light bulbs right here just the other day. What are you looking for, dear? Light bulbs. The light on the front porch burned out, and that can be very dangerous. I wanted to change the bulb before it got dark. No problem. I'll just go into town and buy some more while I'm out for my walk. Thanks, dear. It's such a nice day. Why don't you take the girls with you? I will. I don't get to spend nearly as much time with them as I would like. Are you going to go out for your walk? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. I would love to go on a walk. Can we go, please? Exactly what I was going to invite you to do. You're the, You're best, the best papa, papa in, in the world. world. I want you to watch for traffic and hold my hand. Okay, girls? Okay, Papa. I like going downtown. Are we going shopping? Yes, Mama asked me to buy light bulbs. Light bulbs are boring. Can we buy her something fun, too? Sure we can. Maybe we'll go to the flower shop after the appliance store. Pansies. I think Mama would like some new pansies to plant in her garden. All right, Kitty, we'll see. But here we are at our first stop, Peterson's Appliance Store. Wow, look at all the shiny new refrigerators. Yeah, and the fancy new television sets. Oh, Mimi, that lamp would look so cute in our room. They have a lot of cool stuff. I can see why Papa likes the store. Oh, Mimi, look! There's the new phone that Papa just brought home. It looks the same. It should. I bought it here. Time to go. It was short fun to look around that store, Papa. I especially like the pretty telephone. Do you come here often, Papa? Well, I wouldn't say often, but it does take a lot of appliances to run a household. So whenever we need a new one, your Mama and I come down here to pick it out. Not including the telephone. I'll bet you can name some of the things we've bought from there. The refrigerator? That's right. Mimi, your turn. Can you think of one? Sure can. The washing machine. Good job, girls. The appliance store has everything to help make our house warm and cozy and gives Mama and I the help we need to take good care of you. Oh, speaking of Mama, look, there's the flower store. I can see the perfect one from here. Me too, Kitty. Can we go inside and buy it now, Papa? Your mama is lucky to have such thoughtful girls. <laughs> All these flowers smell so sweet. <laughs> Ooh, there it is, Mimi. Come on. It's perfect. Yep. All we have to do is pay for it. Right, Pop? <laughs> <laughs>
Look, a grocery store. Hey, let's check out all the fresh vegetables. Mmm, those tomatoes look good. Yeah, and the apples. Fresh fruits and vegetables are the best. You said it. I'd like to take them all home and cook them up into a big stew. <laughs> well, you're always cooking up something. Mimi, what are your favorite vegetables? My most favorite is tomatoes, but I really like radishes and green peppers. Keep those peppers away from me. I don't like them. <laughs> Tell you what, tonight I'll cook and make you both a dish with tomatoes, radishes, and peppers, all stewed together that I guarantee both of you will like. You promise? <laughs> so, can you tell me what kind of things this store sells? Of course we can, Papa. You've been bringing us to this store since we were little. It's called a stationery store. They sell pencils and notebooks. They also sell colored paper and crayons and other stuff I really like to play with. <laughs> I guess you girls really know your stationery store. And why not? It's always been one of the best stores in this town. The bookstore is my very favorite store of all. How come? Because inside of all those books are big adventures with pictures of faraway places. I want to own a big bookstore like this one when I grow up. And I want to own my own flower shop. I'll read every book in the world. I'll always have flowers around me. Okay, girls, what do you think this place is? Well, that's a mailbox. So this must be a mail store, right? I've never heard of a mail store before. <laughs> well, actually, it's called a post office, Mimi. Yeah, I've heard of that. You come here when you want to send a letter. I remember coming here with Mama when we mailed that letter to Uncle Cheshire. That's right. At the post office, you can post or mail letters and packages after you've bought a stamp and put it on the envelope. And then the mail carrier <laughs> makes sure the mail gets delivered to the right person. <laughs> What's so funny, Kitty? It's funny when the dog chases the mail carrier. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh. Mail carriers have a hard job. They have to deliver the mail when it rains or snows and carry big, heavy bags full of letters from house to house. That's right, Kitty. They do have a hard job. Besides, you wouldn't think it too funny if you got chased by a dog. No, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, Papa. What kind of a store do you think this is? Looks like a drugstore to me. Wow, look at all the medicines and stuff. I bet they can cure anything with what's in here. I guess there must be a lot of sick people to need such a big store full of medicine. You know, this store isn't full of just medicine, Kitty. They sell quite a few different kinds of things here. Things like cleaning supplies to help keep our house spotless, soap and shampoo, tissues and cotton, and even makeup. Wow, no wonder Mama likes to come here all the time. She's here a lot? Yeah, Mama stops by here every week after she finishes her grocery shopping. Well, now, I guess I learn something new every day. I never realized that there were so many different kinds of shops and stores here in town. Can you name other kinds of stores we didn't visit today? I don't know. How about a shoe store? Don't forget the toy store. Good one, Kitty. Wish I'd thought of it. How about a clothing store? A pet store. That's good. Oh, I got one. How about the place where we take our film and get pictures back? You know, the Photoshop. I've got a few. A butcher shop, a hair salon, and a bike shop. Yep, you know your stores, Kitty. I'm not finished yet. How about a restaurant, an ice cream shop, and a bakery? All oh, those shops have something to do with eating. You know how Kitty feels about food. Stores that sell good food are my favorite kind of store. What? Kitty, I thought bookstores were your favorite kind of store. Yeah, them too. Papa, what's your favorite kind of store? I really don't know. I guess I've never really thought about it before. Hmm. I got it! I know what it is! Well, don't keep it to yourself, tell me. I can't tell you it's a secret, right, Dad? Then it's a secret to me. How could you know what my favorite store is when I don't even know? Because without this store, you couldn't see. Come on! Kitty, where are you going? To the optometrist, silly! Kitty, <laughs> you are a clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> Time for more Paradise Fun and Games. If we connect the red dots, what shape will it make? First, we have to find them all. Now let's make them move so everyone can see them. Can you guess what it is yet? No? 
Then let's connect the dots and see what we get. Yeah! That's good! Uh-huh... Mm -hmm. Hey, wait! You're going the wrong way, go back! There, that's better! Wow, this is a tough one! Go the other way! There, now it's starting to look like something! This is cool, I'm really starting to see it now! Can you guess what it is yet? I'm pretty sure I've got it figured out! I'll give you a hint! Most are colored red! Have you got it yet? That's right! It's a fire trap! <laughs> See ya! with air conditioning, it'll be great! You should live underground where it's nice and cool. How could it be cooler underground? When the weather gets hot, you don't even have any windows you can open to let the cool breeze in. We're protected from the sun. The heat of the day never gets to you if you live underground. I never thought of that. You're always in the shade, aren't you? That's right. And when wintertime comes, the cold snow and icy winds can't get to us either. Hey, why don't you come visit us? Oops, I forgot. You're too big to come down there, aren't you? I wish we could go see how Molly and his friends live underground. That sounds interesting. Yeah, but I just can't imagine what it would be like down there. You're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? Do you want to go there? Yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> Way up in the blue sky, past the clouds, away we'll fly, finding an adventure. We won't know Come on along with me right it's now fun because you'll never know what we'll see Yeah! Come, Come on, on, let's play We'll take the day Come on, let's fly away Our imagination is the key Because you never know what you're gonna see <laughs> We'll take the day Come on, let's fly away <laughs> We're there, Mimi, and we're just the right side to visit Molly in his underground home. What's wrong? How do we take the balloon with us? We need it to get back home. Oh, that's easy. We'll just make the balloon grow smaller the same way we did. Okay. Okay, now let's go look for Molly. Hello? Molly, come out, come out wherever you are. We've come to see you. Molly? Gee, I hope Molly's at home. Molly, Molly where are you? Molly! Did you call me? We, we come, come to, to visit. visit. My goodness, how did you two get so little? It's a long story, but basically our magic balloon made us smaller. Really? Are you serious? She's not kidding, Molly. We really have a magic balloon. Wow, that's cool. 
I was on my way to pick up some food. You go ahead and I'll be right there. Here, you'll need this flashlight and map to find my address. I hope we don't get lost. Getting lost is half the fun. What are you waiting for? You're not afraid, are you? No. <laughs> Turn on your flashlight. Wow, it is nice and cool here. Now, check the map and let's figure out how to get to Molly's home from here. Yeah, okay. It's this way. It's a whole different world down here, isn't it? That looks like a tree root. Huh? Oh! Boy, you never know what you're gonna run into down here. Anyway, this thing isn't a tree root. It's a white radish. See if it shows up on our map. No, nothing even like it. Sure is a big one. We're going the right way, though. Are you <gasps> sure, Mimi? There's another tunnel over here, Mimi. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, water slide without water! Woo! Uh-oh, trouble. There's no way out of here. It looks like I'm trapped. Don't worry, I'm not gonna panic. I just have to make my own doorway. Now I'll just throw myself against it. And break through the wall. Once more. This is the last time. Oh! This time for sure. Whoa! Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Hmm? Hey, what are you doing here in my bedroom? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, but I'm lost. Well, if you're looking for Molly's place, go down that hallway to your left. You can't miss it. Sorry I woke you up. Thanks. Kitty, where are you? I'm getting worried. What are you worried about, Mimi? What's wrong? Kitty disappeared and I don't know where to look for her. I'm lost. Keep going the way you were. It'll take you to my place. I'll go look for Kitty. I hope you find her quickly. Hey. Where did this tunnel come from? It's not on the map. Why did Molly have to leave us on her own? Molly, we're okay, Mimi. We'll be right there. Where are you? Hurry up! We're right here. Pardon me for bringing it up, but you need a new map. Where is your place? I don't understand why you can't find it when it's right there in plain sight on the map. We aren't used to reading underground maps, Molly. Would you teach us how? Let's go to my house and I'll show you everything you want to know about living here. <laughs> you lead the way. I had no idea that Molly had such delightful little home underground. Nice place to live, isn't it? We want to learn more about the way you live, Molly. We can play school. I can be the teacher and you can be my star students. One thing I'm curious to know about is how you find your way home without a flashlight. Your eyes must be more sensitive than mine. Partly that, but let me explain. This is my home. I built it myself and I spend my whole life here so I can find my way around without even having to think about it. This is where we are now. Notice how the tunnels connect to make sure there's always fresh air flowing through. Good, because fresh air comes in handy. In fact, we can't live without it, can we? As the air comes in through the open front door and flows to the open back door, it circulates through every one of the rooms. I see you also have a drain tunnel, so when it rains, the water keeps running down and the upper rooms don't get flooded. What other animals like to live underground? Prairie dogs don't like living alone, so they build whole villages of underground homes. Each tunnel home is built very much like mine. And don't forget about gophers. Right, Mimi. And how about the famous groundhog? Some animals who live on the surface most of the year like to dig a burrow in the ground and sleep there through the cold winter time. We've read about bears hibernating. Uh, and snakes. Oh, sure. Lots of different creatures hibernate. If they stay underground all winter long, what do they eat? They don't eat anything. What? How do they live without eating? They eat and eat and grow lots of fat during the warmer months, and then when winter weather comes, they go to sleep and live off their fat. I couldn't do it. Even when I have a huge breakfast, I'm already starving again before lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. I picked up some snacks. I'll go get them now. Oh, how <gasps> wonderful. Whoa! What is it? Are we having an earthquake? Oh, oh no! no! Someone's planting a garden. Get out of here quick! <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear water? What are we gonna do now? We can only hope the balloon will get us out of here. Molly! Kitty, am I glad to 
to see you girls are safe. Reach up and take my hand. There's plenty of room for you too, Molly. No, I'm used to this sort of thing. It's okay. See you later in the garden. Bye! Bye! That was pretty scary for a minute. Yes, I'm sorry your burrow got flooded, Molly. When I built my place, this was a big open field. There wasn't any garden here. The way the water makes vegetables grow, you're always going to have plenty of food. Gotta go home now. It's time for a snack. I had a really delicious snack planned for us today. Maybe you could visit another time. We'd love to, Molly. I'll see you tomorrow then, all right? Bye-bye. See, see you tomorrow, tomorrow Molly. Molly. Hey, wait a minute, kitty. Why? What's wrong? I think we'd better check if anyone's living there before we plant. Right, I'll find out. Are you living here now, Molly? Is anybody there? If anybody was living there, they moved out. Maybe they didn't like the weather. Yeah, too much rain. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Paradise Fun and Games. This one's called Guess the Shape. Get ready to start thinking, everybody. It's time for a puzzle. Ready? It doesn't look like much of anything yet, does it? But here's a clue to help you along. Check this out. Well, whatever it is, it has to do with the sun and the moon going around and around. And here's another hint for you. No help, we need more clues! Hmm, yeah, come on, show us some more! Okay, here's a hint. It has two hands, which are always moving, and has numbers that help you use it. It always goes in circles, and it sometimes is very noisy. So, have you figured out what it is yet? Hey, I've got it! It's a merry-go-round! Nice try, let's move on. Last hint. Whatever it is, it has to do with time. That's right, it's a clock. But what kind of clock? Remember, it can be noisy. An alarm clock. Is that right? You got it. See, See you later. later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and now, more Paradise Fun and Games. This one's called Animals, Animals. Here's a picture puzzle. They're lots of fun. Are you ready? There's an animal hiding in here. You're supposed to guess what kind of animal it is. Hmm, that looks like some sort of wing, doesn't it? Show us more. Hmm, what could that be? Maybe it's a tail. Hey, look! I think I know what it is. Have you got it? Do you know what it is yet? Okay, let's find out. I knew it! It's a chicken! And a pretty big one at that. Wow, that was fun. Bye now, see you next time. <laughs> was a great idea, wasn't it? Yes, it's fun. Listen. Hear that? It's a little birdie. There, can you see it? Yes, I see it now. What's it doing? Look, I think it's hurt. Let's go see. Walk slow and try not to scare it. She's trying to fly. One of her wings looks hurt. What can we do to help her? You stay here and protect her. I'll go ask Mama what we should do. A birdie has a hurt wing! Try to calm down, honey. And what was that about a birdie? Mimi and I were having a picnic, and we heard a little birdie, and when we found her, she couldn't fly, and we think she must have hurt her wing, and we want to help her, but we don't know what we're supposed to do, and we need you to come and look at her. She has a broken wing, and she needs professional help. Do we have a broken wing specialist in town? Do you think we should just call 911? No, dear. A hurt wing isn't the sort of thing you call 911 for. This is something you girls and I can take care of ourselves. I'll take her to the doctor. You girls get the old canary cage cleaned up. I think the canary cage is in the basement. Yeah? Why don't we turn the cage into a bird hospital and you and I could be the doctors? Oh, that's a great idea. We'll make sure she has plenty of bird seed and water. We might even have to give her medicine, too. 
I'm home, girls. Where are you? We're getting the cage ready. How's our little patient? Did Dr. Helen fix Birdie's wing? Yes, it was a very delicate operation. Dr. Helen says if she gets plenty of rest and lots of loving attention, she should be just fine. Mimi and I want to nurse the Birdie to help. We'll take real good care of her, Mama. Right. We're really good at loving care, Mama. We learned it from you. May we do it, please? Why, yes. It's a lot of hard work, though, and you can't quit even if you get tired of the game. It's a very big responsibility. Remember that. We, we will. will! Birdie has to have lots of fresh water all the time. More bird seed. The Birdie's food cup is empty. Time to clean the hospital and change the sheet. Time for Birdie's medicine. Doctor's orders. Good, Birdie. Eat it all up. Birdie's medicine drops are mixed in the food. Aren't you girls getting hungry? Do you want a snack? We can wait a little while for our snack, Mom. We have to take care of our patient first. Yeah, we'll stay right here. I've never known Kitty and Mimi to pass up an afternoon snack. They're taking their responsibility seriously. I'm so proud of them. They might want to go to medical school and become doctors when they grow up. Well, they're certainly taking wonderful care of that bird. I wish I had somebody taking care of me that way. And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that was just a joke, dear. looking much better already. I guess we did a good job then. Hooray, hooray for us, hooray! Birdie's gonna be all well in no time at all. I know, isn't it wonderful? Hooray for us, hooray for us, hooray for us! Bird is sleeping late today. You shouldn't call her lazy. You're right, but she doesn't have a name. We haven't given her one yet. Everyone calls her Birdie. Why don't we make that her official name? I want to name her Sally. Birdie! No! For once in my life, I want to have my way, and I want to be the one to name her, and I want to name her Sally! She's already used to being called Birdie. And she can get used to being called Sally. <coughs> Look, we woke her up. We're sorry. Birdie can fly again. But her name is Sally now. Let's not start that again. Don't call her Birdie. I think she's telling us to stop this whole silly argument and to get along like good sisters should. I agree. We're sorry. I hope we didn't upset you with our silliness. Me too. Mom, Dad, come see. Our little patient is well again. Hi there. How are you? My, you are feeling better today, aren't you? You girls have done a wonderful thing taking care of a helpless little creature. You deserve congratulations. I agree. And I'm sure the birdie thinks so, too. <laughs> now that she's well, we have to start thinking about setting the bird free again. What? I don't want her to go. I want her to stay here with us. Me, too. She loves us, and she doesn't want to go away. Wild birds aren't meant to live in cages. If she isn't completely free to fly wherever she wants to go, your birdie will become very sad. Very sad. And remember, the birdie has a family too, and they must be really worried about her. Don't you want her to be back with her loved ones? Oh dear. I didn't think about that. She must miss her family a lot. If it were me, I know it would break my heart. We were being selfish. We'll set her free tomorrow morning. Sure was fun, wasn't it? Yes, I'll never forget it. I feel good about what we did. Yeah. Goodbye, little birdie. You be careful and don't get hurt again. Please come back and visit us anytime. We're gonna miss you terribly, so please come visit us soon. I want you girls to know you've done a very good thing. 
I wonder if we'll ever see her again. Do you think she loves us as much as we love her? I thought I heard somebody calling for us. You were just dreaming it. Whoa! She's back! She came to visit and she brought someone with her. Really? Oh, Sally, you did come to visit. And you brought your sister with you. Look, Mimi, they're twin sisters just like us. She does have a family. Mama was right. And they're happy to have her back. I'm so glad we let her go, aren't you? Yes! We need a name for her twin sister now. I think we should call them Sally and Halley. Now, now, Mimi, the last thing in the world we want to do is start that argument again. Bertie's twin sister should be named Gertie, Hurdy, or Flirty. Oh, no, Kitty. Sally's twin sister is going to be named Halley, and that's the end of it. No. I say they're called Bertie and Flirty. I saw her first. That doesn't give you the right to give her such a silly name. It's not a silly name. Huh. No one's ever heard of a bird named Sally. Well, they have now. Oh, Mimi, don't you feel silly arguing over a bird's name? Once and for all, it's Birdie and Flirty, okay? No, it is not okay. Now you're just being stubborn, Mimi. Why can't we just call them Birdie and Flirty and forget about it? Now, more Paradise Fun and Games. This one's called Guess the Dots. You ready to play, everybody? Watch very closely now. Try to guess what the shape would be if you connected all the dots. Here's some hints. It can take you to the ends of the Earth and needs lots of air, but it's not an airplane. It can be big enough to hold a hundred people or small enough to fit in your tub. Do you know what it is yet? I'll bet you've almost got it. Hey, can you turn it around for us? What is it? Can you see it? There it is. Did you guess right? It's a sailing ship. Something that might be serious. Tell me. Oh, I'm just hungry. Huh? <laughs> I heard Mama say we're having salmon croquettes and carrots for dinner. Oh boy! Whoa! Salmon croquettes are my favorite! Woohoo! <laughs> what are we hanging around here for? <laughs> wow, I guess she really is hungry. Won't the children be surprised when they see what they're having for dinner tonight? Huh? Kitty, you're ready for dinner? Oh, for heaven's sake. 
didn't even call. I beat everyone to the table tonight. I didn't know anybody was racing to dinner with you, but you're a little too early in any case, and I'm not quite ready. Really? What's left to be done? Well, the table isn't set. May I set it for you? <laughs> That's very sweet of you, Kitty. Now you're Mama's little helper. Now be careful you don't drop anything, uh, honey. Uh, uh, <gasps> what in the world has gotten into you, Kitty? I've never seen you in such a hurry to set the table. Mama, I can help you set the table, too. Thank you, Mimi. That'll be just lovely. As usual, Mary, you managed to whip up quite a feast for all of us. Don't you think so, girls? Looks great. Can, can we start? start? Yes, dig in, girls. Oh, boy, I can't wait to taste it. Ah, oh, gotcha. Ah, mm, 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 mm. These are tasty. I could eat a hundred of them. Huh? Hey, Mimi, why aren't you eating? This is good. It smells delicious. Good. Gotcha again. What in the world has gotten into you, Kitty? Nothing. I'm fine. I don't agree. Your table manners could stand improvement, to say the very least. Your mother is right. By now and at your age, you should already know. Uh, no. Uh, Kitty, what on earth are you doing? with your dinner, Kitty. You know better than that. But I wasn't playing. I was just trying to catch it, but it kept jumping away. It's not my fault. I was just trying to eat. The reason it keeps jumping away whenever you jab at it is because that's not the right way to eat. Well, how do you know? Because Mama showed me. Can I learn? Just watch me, Kitty. I'm watching. When you use your fork the way you're supposed to, it's a lot less messy, since the food doesn't jump away. The trick is to eat slowly and hold your fork correctly. Huh? It's as simple as that. Why don't you show Kitty what you mean? Go ahead. Hey, Mama, that's a really good idea. Well, I do come up with a few. Okay. Now, here's how to enjoy your meal using good manners. Okay, I'm ready. First, you begin with your fork. Okay, got it. No, no, you should be pointing your fork upward and keep it away from your face except when you're eating. Point the fork upward. Right. Now make sure you're sitting squarely in your chair. Make sure I'm... Huh? What for? It's hard to not be messy when you're squirming in your chair. Besides, it's more comfortable this way. Yeah, I guess you've got a good point there. Now then, watch what I do. This is very important. Put the fork on the food very gently. Okay, very gently. Then push down and lift. You see? Well, it seems easy enough. Let me try it. Push down and lift. Very good. All right. My food didn't jump away. Makes it better, doesn't it? Well, makes it harder for him to bounce off the table, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. See, it's easy. Mm. Hey, that came from my plate. I know, but I just couldn't resist. It's okay. Oh boy, I'm really going to have to pay attention while I eat. I wouldn't worry about that. Good manners become good habits. Always using good table manners shows that you have respect for those around you. And learning to eat properly is the first step to good manners. I don't get it. It shows that you care. That's right. When you have bad manners, people feel uncomfortable around you. Good manners make others comfortable and show you care. I guess good manners are really important. Yes. It affects what people think of you. What do you mean? How can good manners do that? <laughs> what would you think if your mom and I started eating without using manners? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
you see, using good manners to eat properly can affect what other people think of you. That's right. See, any way you look at it, good manners are a good idea. And all your mother and I ask is that you care enough about yourself to want to use good manners every day. Now I get it. That's excellent, Kitty. I know in the future you'll do your very best. Yeah, it's good manners from now on. I'm glad to hear that, Kitty, because there are manners for just about everything we do at the dinner table. You should learn about cups and bowls and placemats and the proper way to use them in every occasion. Oh, but I don't know about any of that. Don't worry about it, Kitty. Your mama and I will teach you everything you need to know. Papa, was it hard for you to learn about manners? Mm -hmm. When I was your age, it was all very confusing to me. But my mother and father taught me just like we're going to teach you. Besides, nobody expects you to know everything all at once. You should be happy to learn a little bit every day. Pretty soon you'll find you're an expert at table manners. Well, I promise to learn a little about manners every day. Let's start right now. All right, Kitty, what do you want to know? Something very important. I want to know the proper way to ask for second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kitty, you've got a one-track mind. <laughs> <laughs> hiding in the queue. Guess which one is going to come out? If everyone's ready, let's get our first hint. Well, that's not much help. Let's see some more of the puzzle. Whoa, whatever it is, it must be really big. Hey, I think I know what it is. Have you figured it out? This one's starting to shape up. There it is, the last clue. Do you know what it is yet? Well, let's see if you're right, because this animal is an elephant. Did you guess right? Great job, Mike. And now more Paradise Fun and Games. This time it's Guess the Shape. Are you guys ready to guess with us? I got a feeling this one's gonna be tough. Well, then how about some hints? That would be good. This mystery starts with what's inside. It has to do with the thing that makes a cloud a cloud. You mean like rain? I get it, she means water. That's right, water, lots of it. Hey, I know, it's a swimming pool. Well, not exactly. What do you mean? Hey, I know what it is. It's a bathtub. Nope, but you're getting warmer. Think of something with lots of bubbles. Now you've really got me mixed up. Speaking of mixed up, this thing mixes everything up. It can spin real fast. Have you figured it out yet? I think we're gonna need more clues on this one. Well, things that are dirty can go in it. I got it. It's some sort of big wet trash can, right? <laughs> no, because this thing makes everything in it clean. Hey, I think I'm figuring this out. Me too. More clues. Maybe this will help. Now it looks like a toy. Actually, it's a machine. Why didn't you say that? I know what it is! It's, it's a, a washing, washing machine. machine! See you next time! <laughs> <laughs> Going to town. Mimi, have you seen my hairbrush? I can't even find mine! Mama, do you have it? Yes, dear. I'm never gonna be ready in time. Now, I can't even find my new pin. Wait, I must be missing something. Why is everyone running around? Why isn't my spare ribbon in my drawer? Has anybody seen where my comb went? Mama's taking us to the museum and shopping. And maybe we'll stop at the bookstore before we come home. Keep close to Mama, you two. And don't be scampering all around. Yes, Papa! An afternoon of peace and quiet. We're leaving now, dear. Bye. Have a good time, everyone. I'll miss you. Well, why don't you come with us, Papa? We'll wait till you put your walking shoes on. Well, now, uh, that's uh, very kind of you, sweetheart. But shopping in museums are not really my favorite things to do. I'm sure we'll be home early. Enjoy yourselves. Well, I guess that means I get the whole house to myself for a while. It already seems too quiet. I'm wearing my best ribbon today, Mimi. I'm wearing my best ribbon, too. 
I love dressing up. I hope you're real proud to be seen with us today, Mama. I'm proud of my girls no matter what they may be wearing. Thanks, Mama. We're proud to be seen with you, too. <laughs> it sure is fun going downtown, Mama. Yes, and I think you'll enjoy the museum. I can't wait to see all the pretty paintings and the statues and stuff. I've always wanted to go to a museum. It just seems like it would be a pretty cool place to visit. Oh, look, the light's green. I bet we can make it if we run. Come on, Mama, let's go! No, <laughs> stop right there. You must never run out in the street like that. But, Mama, you told us green light means go. Yes, but that's not all I told you. I know, Mama. We must always look both ways before crossing the street. Absolutely right, Mimi, because all drivers may not be as careful as you are. Why not? Yeah, shouldn't the drivers be even more careful than us? Well, yes, but sometimes things distract the drivers and get in their way and keep them from seeing you. There, the light's green again. Yeah, we can make it now. Come on, Mama, let's go. No, uh Kitty, don't you remember? You should always look both ways before crossing. She just forgot, Mama. Well, just imagine what could happen to you if I weren't with you sometime and you forgot. Suppose you cross the street sometime and the light was green for you, but a driver didn't <gasps> stop for the red light. Or perhaps you cross at a green light without looking and you trip. A turning car might not see you until it's too late. Imagine yourself in the middle of the street with a car coming at you. <gasps> that one didn't even try to stop. I'm not telling you this to scare you. I just want you to be safe. Mom, if cars are so dangerous, how come people are allowed to have them? Well, because most people are pretty careful about their cars and their driving, but sometimes unexpected things happen, and we need to stay alert and be prepared. We look both ways, from left to right, until it's safe. That's a good rule to remember, Mimi. But you also must remember that the street is not the only place you should stay aware of. Unexpected things can happen anywhere. Uh-oh. Take my hands, children. That was unexpected. Guess that's what you meant. Some people don't even seem to notice that we're here. That's right, Mimi. Sometimes people have something on their minds and don't pay much attention to what they're doing. That's why it's so important that we pay attention to what we're doing no matter where we are or what we're thinking about. Right! right. Here at all, I guess we should look left and then right. Make sure the street is clear. All clear on the right. And all clear on the left. It's safe to go. <laughs> well done, girls. I'm ready to cross whenever you are. Oh, Mama, look at all the shops. And the people are dressed so elegantly. Look at those pretty flowers! I'd rather look at those delicious cakes! That store's got panda bears! So much great stuff! Oh, look, Mama! The bookstore! No, Kitty! Come back! Look, Mama! They have some great new books! Kitty, why don't ever go running off like that again? It's very dangerous. You could get separated from us and lost, and then what would you do? That's why your father told you to stay close to me and not to scamper off. We just want to keep you safe and sound so you can have a happy life. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Well, no harm done. I think you've learned your lesson. From now on, we stay close to Mama. Mm-hmm. Well... I'll tell you what, after the museum, we'll come back here and I'll buy you a brand new book. You mean it? <laughs> <laughs> before we cross? First we look left, then we look right, then we look left again, and then we cross. Of course we shouldn't forget that there are even hazards on the sidewalk. 
If it's a bicycle, we just need to get out of the way. Gee, we learned a lot today. <laughs> You'll have quite a lot to tell Papa about. Yeah, we learned about not running off by ourselves and how to cross the street safely and that sometimes unexpected things can happen. And if you're not careful, you can get hurt. Oh! I don't ever want that to happen to me, Mama. That's good, Mimi, but don't forget that you can have fun downtown, too. You just have to be safe when you're having it. For instance, what could be more fun than buying something special for someone you really love, like your papa? Yeah, you're right. Did you buy something nice for papa downtown? Of course. I always buy something nice for papa when we go out, and I think he'd be pleased if you gave it to him. It's a book that he's wanted for a very long time. Hello, dear. We're home. We had the best time. The museum was awesome, and Mom bought us new books. Well, my goodness, that's wonderful. Mama bought something special for you, too. But you'll never be able to guess what it is. Let me guess. I'll bet it's part of some buried pirate treasure from the Caribbean. Or maybe it's the winning lottery ticket. Now, all kidding aside, what did you get me? We told you it was special. The very first edition of the new Kittyville Times book of crossword puzzles. What a great gift. Here, let me see it. It's more paradise fun and games. So here's another Animals Animals. Time to get the animal again. Is everyone ready? Well then let's get started. What's that? It looks mighty strange to me. Let's see another clue. Black and white. I guess it could be a panda bear. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I think I've got it. It's not a panda, it's a kind of fur. All right, it's the very last clue of the puzzle. It's time to make your guess. It's a penguin. Did you guess right? Good job. See you next time. 